Have you ever felt a stirring in your soul that keeps you up at night? An annoying thought that this can't be all life has to offer. Where you start to question your thoughts, your faith, and your purpose in life. You realize looking for answers in that safe little pond you've been living in are nowhere to be found. Have you had those questions that you can't ask out loud? Where you question everything you've been taught growing up that doesn't quite seem to make sense today? Well, if you have, then you can join Will and Marie as they look for new answers, new purpose, and new blessings in the deep waters. And we're gonna talk about what are you oh, hi <laughs> We're live. <laughs> live. <laughs> I'm William Singleton of Core Counseling Strategies, and this is Marie Purnell of Walking in Your Womanhood. Walking in your woman. Walking I don't in your know woman. Where the hood part came from, um, but it's okay. I can take you, it. She probably she know where the hood <laughs> part comes from. <laughs> that was not even fair. You guys will probably see it all through the podcast. Those who know Never Marie know. know what I'm talking. They know. About. They know. <laughs> they know. I bring it to the real. It's okay. So I um, love talking to women about their next journey. After um, being a mom, not saying you'll never stop being a mom. After being a wife, never say you'll never stop being a wife. But in that, sometimes we can lose our identity. Mm. And, you know, we're so busy being a mom, so busy being a wife, uh, trying to make sure we raise our children. And as I always say, raise our husbands. (laughs) So, (laughs) you know, we're doing all that and we do not know what we are supposed to be doing for ourselves. So that's walking in your woman. We are trying to find the me in ourselves, trying to find out who we are, what we're doing, what we're supposed to be doing for ourselves, not for everybody else. We become instant people pleasers because Mm. we lose sight of that. And so that is walking in your woman. And I am the founder of that. Yes. And, and uh, I do core counseling strategies. Uh, I have a practice in Millsboro, Delaware. <clears throat> and, um, oh, geez, um, life coaching, career building, career building, um, addictive behaviors, um, you name it. We work on it. Anger management, relationships, couples counseling. We do it all. And now we do podcasts. Now we do podcasts. <laughs> um, we keep trying to go figure ahead. out how we got here. Well, you know, for those of you guys who are just <laughs> tuning in, yeah. um, we decided to kind of start doing videos on the deep conversations we were having about our walk with God. And, you know, not to not to get all uh uh, uh how do I want to say it? Christianese. Christianese, it, you we know, don't even know where the word came from. He just made it up and I love it. I, it's really about breaking down the biblical principles to real life application and where we get stuck through mm. dysfunctional church teaching. Dysfunctional <laughs> church teaching. And that doesn't necessarily have to come from the pulpit. Yeah, it doesn't. It, yeah, it, it, doesn't. it mostly comes from the people. Yeah. Around yeah. the pulpit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, or our own concepts, erroneous concepts that we get from the family structure that we grew up in yeah. of their own flavor on, mm, not you know, flavor. Yeah, 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 you know, you know, <laughs> sometimes that Jamaican yes, don't go do down it. right. It don't go down Cause right. Heartburn. Yes, indeed. But it's not yeah. biblical, mm-hmm. you know, um, and so we're going to, we're going to be touching on all those crunchy, deep topics. And that's why we call it the deep waters, deep waters. you know, cause we're going to take you out to the deep waters. There's no, you're not, you don't, don't come if you want to, if you're comfortable in the shallow end. Don't, 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 don't. Just turn it off now. Yeah. Stop, stop watching. Because Sister Sadie wasn't even a swimmer until now. Mm, 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 okay. Mm. Holding your breath. Listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going in those scuba diver points. It's not easy being out here. Yeah. And these questions are going to take courage sometimes to answer or even to delve into or even to um, discuss. Yeah, the whole idea is yeah. just to challenge you guys. Yeah. Just to think about it. Exactly. You know, um, 
you know, um, and, and, and Lord, you could, you could always send us a, a, a question, a post or, exactly. or, or, please do, or, please. or an idea of what you want us to talk about. Yeah. Um, but for today, mm. what are we talking about today, Marie? Fully activating the favor factor. Woo! Are you ready? That sounds like a sermon, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it but, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> or is it? It could be. You, it we could never be. Know. We never Any know. Any pastors out there want to take it up? That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Meet us in the deep end. <laughs> right, okay? right, right, right. Meet us over there. But um, yeah, so I'm going to let you start okay, because okay. Um, this was kind of your baby and I okay. love it because, my gosh, actually most of these were, were, were Will, but they <laughs> all, <laughs> but they were all good because <clears throat> I really have been thinking about, you know, what it means to be under the favor of God. And it's a factor to it. It really is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you fully activate that thing, man, I mean, you could, you are, you have lost let me tell you, you have totally denied yourself. You're totally not even thinking about what other people think anymore. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about anything other than the fact that I'm following, I'm following God and mm -hmm. all of his instructions. And when you do that, you're activated. You know, and, and it kind of goes along with what we talked about last time mm -hmm. um, with dealing with having uncomfortable blessings. Exactly. Um, in, for me, favor and faith are, are two parts of the same coin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... For me to fully activate, utilize the tool of faith and favor, because it's a tool. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. A lot of people just have it on a t-shirt, you know, but <laughs> it's a tool. And they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> because my faith and my favor from my creator doesn't come into play until I walk into something that's totally out of my own yes. understanding. Yes. Out yes. of my own familiarity. Yeah. And this is the problem that I've seen with our, our, our those of us in the church. You know, um, we've been so indoctrinated with mm -hmm. comfortable teachings um, that we don't even think about expanding our territories. Right. You know, we want new blessings, but we don't want to do anything new. Right. Uh. <laughs> and, and, and that math doesn't work. Uh uh. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't, you know, right, um, right. you know, I needed to learn. So, so the latest adventure um, is I'm going to be going into being a volunteer fireman along with the other stuff I do. So part of that was because I wanted to learn how to be a better help, especially in the times that are coming, you yeah, know, with all exactly. the, the chaos and unrest. Um, they need mm -hmm. more people to help with some of those things that are going to be happening out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I really wanted to learn more about being an EMT to medically help save somebody's life. Now, what potential for favor and blessings mm. could come from that new adventure? Mm, mm, mm. Can you just imagine? I mean, I'm just, I mean yeah. just meeting new, yeah. people, meeting new people, learning new skills. Yes. Going in a whole different environment, yeah. and that's to me, that's how I activate. Yeah, yeah. The whole favor. Yeah, but listen, you know how yeah. afraid people are to do that. Oh, I know. They are seriously afraid to try something new. Okay, like because I told when we were talking about this podcast thing, I was like, "No, who's supposed to be? Who's supposed to be? No, wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. She stuttered for a whole ten <laughs> I, minutes. I <laughs> and what are we supposed to be talking about? I mean, whoa, guy. You know, and it's so, it's just so amazing. This is the second time that, you know, someone says something to me about podcasts, but this, I mean, what, there's going to be another podcast. I'm telling you now, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what Will and I are doing, this is totally different because we're on a whole different thing, but you can't be afraid to try something outside of your comfort zone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because if you're going to stay in one place, you're not activating anything. Sometimes when you move outside of that, I mean, like literally, like you're literally outside of that wall that you built within yourself and within your confines of your own home. You won't step out to do or try anything new. Mm -hmm. That was actually me for a season uh -huh. of my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. For one thing, I dealt with the spirit of inadequacy, not mm -hmm. thinking that I could um, do anything outside of God or outside of myself. Or outside of my family, outside of mm -hmm. my home. I just really didn't think I could do anything more. But God is stretching me in such a way and reminding me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Our He's, potential is unlimited. It's unlimited. It's, it's crazy. So, yeah. okay. 
It's mind. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing, because the beginning of this year, the word the Lord gave me the word <clears throat> clarity, but then He took me to the scripture. Um, Psalm 139, where he talks about he knows everything mm -hmm. about you, okay? Mm -hmm. Your comings, your goings, your ins, your outs. He knows ev Take Take a minute and read Psalm 139. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you, that's going to be my base. Yeah, yeah. So, going into that place where God knows things about me, mm -hmm. right? Okay? There's stuff inside of me that he wants to tap, wants me to tap into, that's going to activate the favor factor. Yep. yep. Just like this podcast. Seriously. It's outside of what I would have thought I would have been doing. Mm -hmm. But connecting with Will in such a way. <laughs> and, and he's scared of the whole wealth thing anyway. So listen. What God is going to do for him in this. It's going to expand his tent stakes. Oh yeah. And he's a camper anyway, so he knows mm -hmm. what that means. Mm -hmm. But the tent stakes that he's expanding is going to take him into places, meeting people, people calling on us to do certain things, do different podcasts together yeah, with other people. I mean, things mm -hmm. are expanding. It's going to be crazy because <laughs> I'm probably going to be that millionaire in denial. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, I don't I know where that money is. is. I don't I know. Got nothing you know. <laughs> Well, you got the money. No, I don't. No, I don't. You know, because no, I, I cause that's, that's too big for me. Listen. That's what I said about other videos. Right. I just got to go step by step. Right. You know, you know, I'll be like, oh, you got a hundred grand in the bank. No, I don't. No, no I don't. No, no. <laughs> I got two dollars. But it's, it's, it's that fully activating the favor factor because we decided to do something outside of ourselves and trust God in the process. Mm -hmm. Trusting God in the process is what's the real main factor. Because he said that he, his word states that his um, your steps are ordered by him. Mm -hmm. And he knows the plans that he has for your life, which are a, a good and expected mm -hmm. end, right? So let, let's talk about the steps. You oh, know, because cause when you brought that up, I, I, I had this whole concept of activating the favor. But to get to the favor, we've got to go through the fear. Mm -hmm. And That's then, really... here, I'm, 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 I'm going to say this, we have to go through the failure. Oh, yeah. Because... In order to activate, truly activate what God has for you, yeah, I've got to go beyond my own strength. Yeah, I got to yeah. go beyond my own intellect. Right, I'll, I got to use my last trick card. Listen, and, and be out in the deep water <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for for me yeah. to see God work. Yeah, yeah. And here's the crazy part for those of us who are watching: if you look back at your life, it has happened. You just don't. You, you haven't given it credit. All the times in your past where you thought you was gonna you was gonna fail, this, yeah. this was it. This yeah, is it. Yeah. It's game not, over. I'm not going back. I'm not <laughs> going we're back. done. I'm not trying this again. We're not gonna make. We're not gonna make it through this one. And you did. Yeah, yeah. And something opened up for you to get to where you are now. Yes. Because we're Ooh. still we're still here. Yeah. So it activated. How do I put this? Your next step. It really did. It activated accidentally because yes. you weren't even purposely trying to go after. Not at all. Not at you all. You just have look. And so so here's the deal: is you gonna end up <laughs> in the deep water, <laughs> intentionally or unintentionally? Yeah, yeah. At least if you're intentionally doing it, you know what you, you know why you're here. Yeah. And and there's less shock. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't imagine. It's, it's like you know I don't want to throw you out in the deep end like <laughs> you like you blindfolded. Like, oh, my God, I've been watering. And God comes and saves you and blesses you. Oh, God. And he used to let trauma from, like, I can't go through that again. <laughs> right. But if I intentionally go out there, it's like, yeah. I'm going out here. Yeah. Not only to find a greater purpose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. Because I know it, through that greater purpose is not only greater blessings, mm -hmm. but greater strength. Oh, God, yeah. Greater peace. Yeah. That, that's all the mm. favor. mm so when I go through the fear, mm -hmm. go through the failure, mm -hmm. redefine my faith. Mm. Woo! I know it sounds sound like I'm a preacher. Wow, you ought to say that. And then and then I and then my favor comes into play. And like, whoa, like, you know. So so it's more than just me fasting three days and exactly. spinning around. I mean, <laughs> not and spinning around. Sorry. Well, wait a minute. That was so good though because I was a person that okay. So uh, let me just go ahead and be real about it. I was that one that I didn't want to fail. Oh. Uh, and, and that's so part, that's part of it. Oh, I didn't want to fail because I was so tired of being in a place I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I, and I already thought I was a failure anyway. So Lord have mercy if I failed at trying anything, right, right. forget it. Mm -hmm. Forget it. 
But so now, listen to what you just said. I thought I was a failure, and I was afraid to fail. Crazy. <laughs> how, how crazy is that? Right? It doesn't make sense. Uh, so well, we're already here. So we so literally here, we have so nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. <laughs> but I didn't have that mm -hmm. insight at all. I, mm -hmm. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> but now, you know, thinking about how failure, check this out. Failure will activate your faith to say, okay, God, what's next? Yeah. Okay. So I failed at that. Okay. So I've learned from this. I've grown through it. Now, I know you got something on the other side of this because of what you're about to do right now is going to blow my mind. Mm -hmm. Because I failed at that because I already trusted you to do it. Okay. That wasn't where I was supposed mm -hmm. to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. But instead of us saying this, like, forget it, I ain't going back, I'm not doing this again, it's over, forget it, I'm done. That's not what he wants. I, listen, I'm going to have to go back and listen to this thing from the way he, what he just said, fear, failure, something, something. I, that was so cool. <laughs> so also, you know, I just want to, I want to put it out there. Don't, don't take this and go start jumping off a bridge. Okay, okay please don't. Don't, look. <laughs> don't. Because in the, in this, in, in the other podcasts, we talk about uncomfortable blessings. Yeah. Part of getting the uncomfortable blessing is doing the uncomfortable work. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh, yeah. 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 You know, so. So you're going to fail. I've got to. Yeah. We strategize the best we can. Yeah. With what we know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we. It's, it's, it, to me, it's like going on a backpacking adventure. Not me. Yeah, no, not, not me. <laughs> we still try to get on a back porch. You ought to, you ought to watch the other video to understand that. <laughs> It's like going on a backpacking, <laughs> me, going on a backpacking <laughs> adventure. Mm -hmm. I can only, I, I have to plan, okay? I got to plan my water. I got to plan my food. I got to plan the weight of my backpack. Mm -hmm. Every, everything to, to my gym shoes, to my first aid kit. And then I go on the adventure, okay? Now, the terrain is going to change as I go on this journey. I'm going to run into mountains. I'm going to run into valleys. I'm running into creeks. I'm going to run into dry parts. You know, all these things I'm going to run into. But I have to, I, I, I had a friend, you see, you know, he probably got watched this. He's going to be like, well, why'd you throw me out there like that? <laughs> you don't have to use names. No, no, wait, wait, wait. These names are not real. <laughs> <laughs> this dude got mad at a relative and said, well, I'm going back. I'm going, I'm going camping. He didn't pack everything he needed. Oh, God. I think he forgot his tent. Oh, God. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, why'd you? You know how we as men do. We will get out there and just go ahead and just be, well, I ain't going back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know we had the food. Right, right. And I think he said it started raining. Oh. Then, he, then he felt real stupid. <laughs> I bet he learned so, something then. Uh, you know, I gave him, right. I teased him so bad oh, about that. God. But But that's us. We don't plan. Yeah, we don't plan. And look, we're going to fail anyways. But look, you ain't got to fail spectacularly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I did a video on, you know, giving all you have and still failing. Right. But <laughs> you can totally not plan and fail that way, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. and yeah, man, I mean, you know, we have to strategize. Yeah. You have to take the time to really plan out your adventure for your blessing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that is so key. I just love that though, because I was never really adventurous, right? And I married an adventurous, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do what <laughs> and go where? Mm -hmm. I mean, this brother talk about going on the mission field. Okay, okay, pause. I'm not th this. No, I ain't doing it. But he has changed my life, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even you know. With Will talking about backpacking and all that stuff, that's that's really not me. But if God would say that's what I gotta do, she's I speaking just, it. Y'all hear that, right? <laughs> like, go ahead and try it. My and wife's see. not there yet either, so we we work on both of them. <laughs> we work on both of us. Because <laughs> listen, Bam, I'm with you, sis. So let's see how that you know how that pans out. I might have to try that in order to see what God wants me to see. Uh -huh. That's the whole thing. Try it and see what God has for you on the other side of mm -hmm. your strengths, even your weaknesses, mm -hmm. because, you know, living fully activating the favor uh, factor really 
is all in what you believe within yourself. Yeah, embracing the adventure. It's embracing it, yeah. You know, I mean, and because an adventure means valleys and mountains. It, do, it really does. It you really know? does. You might have to change your shoes, yeah. change your clothes because you didn't sweat it through this thing. Oh, man. You might have to change, you know, everything about your the way you think, the way you do things, mm -hmm. the way you see things. It's like when Will was talking about, we'll go out on the back porch and I was like. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> exactly. Back We're going to strategize, Marie. Plan. So Will's going to have to let me know at least two weeks in advance before we're going to go out. Marie, we don't need a mosquito net for your back porch. <laughs> because, wait, I don't have a ten up. Wait a minute. So, I, I'm serious. I'm a straight glamper. I'm not even going to pretend. You know, so... Uh. You know, see, that's, that's that's how sweet God is. Just think mm -hmm. about how sweet God is with that. I went in uh, with my husband with the pop-up. Because yep. we have a pop-up mm -hmm. first. And I really enjoyed it. But I also prayed. I said, God, you know, I want a a, a full RV. Within, I, I don't even think it was in a month. Uh -huh. God blessed us with an RV. And I know I'm talking about it again. I talked about it in our last podcast. But... Well, we don't even have the courage to even pray for stuff like even that. pray for stuff like right. that because you know because we're just like oh my god I ain't gonna want to do that yes he does yeah, yeah. he wants to bless you like that that's living the, an uncomfortable blessed life because you ask and you shall receive not mm -hmm. and the door shall be open in fact you know what we need to talk about limiting God based on our own limitations. Ooh, yeah. That's next. Yeah that that's gonna be next y'all we're gonna start right here <clears throat> yep 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 we're gonna close out in prayer. Um, we love you guys. We appreciate we you tuning we love in. You guys. Keep praying for us. Yeah. Because we're going forward in this. Yes. Yes. This and we're, we're going to have a good time doing it. This is a, <laughs> man, I am loving every bit of it. This is Deep Waters. And yet you'll see us in the same outfit on the next one, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. We're, we're doing all our we're podcasts in one shot. We're doing all of our podcasts shot. in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the whole month. Like, so, what's the dot yeah. com? We got the same yeah, thing they, on again, y'all. Yeah. This, yeah. this is how we play. They stink it in these clothes. And we no. loving it. We loving it. We loving it. So this is so cool, guys. And I just wanted to thank you already for being here. Um. Thank you for supporting us. We are, appreciate you in advance. Mm -hmm. um, we pray blessings over you. So I'm going to go ahead and close out in prayer on this one. So, Father, we thank you. We bless you and honor you for this opportunity that we have to absolutely bless your name. Yes. Thank you. We ask for Holy Spirit to always welcome, is always welcome here. You're always welcome here, Holy Spirit. Bring understanding. Um, bring us always season our words with grace and salt oh god i just pray right now father god for those that are listening that this that they do learn how to live an uncomfortably blessed life that they learn how to activate the favor factor mm. father god this is a new place with will and i as well we just want to make sure that your name is glorified in all the earth we don't give any limitations on you god this is about you because of you and for you so it's in Jesus' matchless name that we pray all these things. Amen. Amen. See you next time.